much more pleased with the way our guys played tonight in, in terms of execution as much as anything and uh, a lot of respect for Coach Henry and the Georgia Southern program and you know uh, really good team you know some of those players uh, Deuce Dean was in here last year and it really hurt us when he was at Hampton so we knew what kind of player he was uh, you know he, he just as a program he's got great respect for them their players and their coaching staff uh, as far as our guys I, I thought our guys answered the challenge that we put in front of them you know, a little bit over 24 hours ago after our loss to Northeastern, particularly defensively. And that's where, that's where all our emphasis has been. And, uh, you know, they, obviously, Brandon Johnson makes a huge difference on our team. Coach, you stated in your opening statement about the changes defensively. <coughs> Georgia Southern scored 90 last night, and you hold them to 64 today. So what were the major changes that you saw tonight? Uh, you know, we guarded the ball better. We were in the gaps better. The floor got so open uh, last night or yesterday afternoon versus Northeastern. I mean, the floor just got so open. Our help defense, I mean, we started playing. You know, you, you can't hug up to guys on the back side of the floor. You got to be able to, you got to be able to recover on skip passes and recover on drives, but you can't play hugged up on the back side. And, you know, Northeastern had some shooters. Northeastern ran some good off ball cutting actions. And so, I think our guys started, it's almost like a magnet. They started pulling over there when the ball was on the strong side and we were hugged up on the weak side. We did spend a lot of time preparing for Georgia Southern, obviously. Our coaching staff did an incredible job getting our guys just ready for what, because it's two totally different styles of play, Northeastern and Georgia Southern, two totally different. But we probably, in a tournament setting, this is the most that I've been a part of, spending time on what we, we had to do, even though we have an opponent in less than 24 hours last night. We knew we had to try and fix some things. And, and again, I will say this, uh, our guys really executed a lot of things yesterday well. We could not finish possessions with rebounds. Brandon makes a huge difference for us in that, in that regard, a really big difference. And he quarterbacks our defense with his voice and with his mind and with his physical ability to go rebound the ball. And that has been missing the last two games, obviously. Uh, the three games we've had Brandon Johnson, we've held the teams in the 60s. The two games we haven't, Teams have been in the 80s. And that's not necessarily going to stay the course the whole way. we got to find other guys that can do that. But obviously, that is a huge impact of our defense. But with that being said, guys like Brandon, John, uh, Brandon Quentin, Bobby, Ezra, Jaden, Caleb, Sear, the way they defended, there was a defensive mindset as a unit tonight. We've seen RJ take over a game. We've seen Brandon take over a game. Tonight it was Quentin. Just your thoughts on this, uh, on this game? Yeah, I think he did it because he realized after our film session last night, we had a really lengthy film session last night, and we had another one this morning. I think Quentin realized, like all our guys did, that the mentality coming into the game, if we have a shot, it's gonna be because we're solid on defense. It doesn't mean we're gonna be perfect, doesn't mean we're gonna, every, we have a long, long way to go, obviously. But if the mind is on defense, I said this right sitting at this table when RJ played well, when I've said it, if you come in with the mentality that we have to play defense, we have to execute our defensive system, and we have to rebound the basketball. I think they had four offensive rebounds tonight. I think it's four. Uh, 13 last night, four tonight makes a huge difference on who we are defensively if we rebound the basketball. I was going to ask, in a setting like this, is it all, does it have to be all film work basically as far as from game to game or really learning? Like are y'all just, you know, doing that versus like on the court in between games? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's definitely primarily film work. You don't have time. You don't have, you know, the physical aspect of it. You can't get out. I mean, I would love to have run up and down right. for two hours and practice today, but you can't. So what you do is you just gotta show it, you gotta watch it. We really watched at length a lot of stuff from that Northeastern game. And we tried to make it applicable to what we were gonna see tonight. We'll do the same thing. We'll watch film of us tonight and try and make it applicable as best as possible towards Kennesaw State, a really good team that hasn't lost a game yet in this tournament. And so we understand that it's a really good team. I believe going into tonight or yesterday, the number one pace of play in terms of tempo in the country was Kennesaw State in terms of how fast they'll play in transition, how fast they'll shoot the basketball. So we understand what a challenge it's gonna be for our defense. Going into tonight's game, transition defense was a key. I thought we did a pretty solid job in transition. It'll even be more so tomorrow. Brandon seemed a little tired out there, obviously. He's coming off not being able to practice or play. How do you feel like his condition was and how do you feel like he pulled through when he wasn't feeling his best? I thought he pulled through fantastic. I think you hit it on the head and he would be the first if he was sitting here to say, 
Yeah, a little tired, probably, you know, not in, in, in the shape, because when you take whatever it was many days off, I mean, Brandon hasn't had any contact in practice. Tonight was his first. So he has just been kind of conditioning on his own. So, so proud of him. You know, RJ, RJ had a defensive mentality today. Ezra, defensive mentality. Ezra doesn't, you know, gets banged up. He bangs his knee coming out, you know, off of a screen. <clears throat> but defensively, he just played like, hey, I just want to play defense and I want to be the leader of this defense. He kept talking to the guys in the huddles. He kept talking to the guys on the court. So that's what we do. And RJ, Jaden, uh, Caleb, Brandon doing what he did. That's who we got to be. And again, I'm going to say it, we have a long, long way to go, but we're going to get there. Callum and Sear both played eight minutes tonight, and Callum got more minutes than he has before. What did you see from him and as well as Sear? Well, you know, they, they do it every day in practice. And not knowing if we were going to have Brandon, it was really a game time decision. We said, hey, you know what? Those got to do it. They've earned their opportunity. I mean, that's what practice is about. You earn the opportunity. And I thought Sear has been earning it. I thought Sear came in and did some nice stuff today. Uh, Cal, that's why we, I told Cal early this morning, Cal, be ready. You're going in tonight in the first half. You be ready because in our rotation that I had, you're going to get in there. Um, so I was very proud of what Cal and Sear did. And the best part about it is, you see how much the guys pull for those guys, how excited they were for Sear, how excited they were for Cal, you know, and uh, just, you know, uh, it started with our point guards, Bobby and Caleb with their defensive mentality, and I thought it trickled all the way down you know, to everybody. And it's just, you know, I hope that's who we can be all the time. It's, it's not easy, but I tell you that that's what we're striving for. You guys had nine steals tonight. I mean, is that sort of like an indicator you're looking at too, just being active on, on that end of the floor? Yeah, you know, sometimes steals are a byproduct uh, of good activity. We, de we definitely don't ever go into games saying, hey, we got to go get steals. We, we want deflections and we want positional steals. You know, I tell you, one of the, the biggest plays of the game, the game was, you know, late, late, last four minutes or so, last four or five minutes, and Ezra gets that jump ball in the gap. He's in the gap and they drive it and he's in the gap and he goes in. I mean, that was really, that made the, the coaching staff and, and the bench very excited because Ezra was playing right to scouting report and doing something that we really emphasized. And you know what, I think he got really excited about it. And when, when we keep getting really excited about the little things, those kind of things, I think that's what's gonna give this team a chance to be its best. You know, you know preach that defense as a staff, but does, I guess it takes the players to really buy into and embrace that on the court to really pay off, right? Well, I think you know, Stephen, if I could put a uniform on, I would. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm in a stance quite a bit during the yeah. game. It's just, uh, so I would love, and the coaching staff would love to, but I promise you, if it's this coaching staff play defense right now on this, we'd be the worst defense in the country. <laughs> no time for one more. Uh, just, you know, obviously, you could see the, deje the dejection after the Northeastern and Upstate game. So how does a win like this kind of give this group confidence again going into tomorrow night against a really good opponent? Well, we talked about that, actually, just what you said. It, you know, dejected, yes, it, it was really a pissed-off team. It was an angry team. It was an angry coaching staff, and it was an angry uh, head coach. I mean, it was a lot of anger, um, you know, but we've talked about this. You can't go back to yesterday, and we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but what we did talk about as a team is if we are who we want to be, our best version of ourselves today, what you do is have a chance to feel a little bit better about yesterday because you learned from it, and it gives you a little bit of optimism and positivity going into tomorrow. And that's all you can control. As much as I would love to get in that DeLorean and punch the clock in and go back in time to yesterday and change the game, you can't do it. And we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but if we did play the way we wanted to today, you could feel just a tad better about learning from yesterday and you can feel better going in tomorrow knowing, hey, there's clarity in what we got to try and do versus Kennesaw State. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks.